Hi crafters, this is Crafty Savvy and I'm here today to share a quick little project with you. Um, I was watching some YouTube videos today and I came across uh, Paper Crafter 45. Uh, she was making a project using some paper bags and um, this isn't the project that she was doing, however, um, the way she cut up the paper bags to use them for her project kind of inspired me to do something of my own. And maybe this has been shown a thousand times, but um, I just kind of clued in. So <laughs> I have really been loving these paper bags that I've been seeing everybody uh, use in their journals or if they're doing swaps and things like that. They've been putting um, goodies into these kind of paper sacks and I'm buying them online and things, which is great. And I just... Um, figured that I would try my hand at making my own and so that's what I did. So before I show you the ones that I made, I just want to show you what I used. So I tried a couple of different things. Um, the smaller ones, I used some paper treat bags that I got at my local dollar store. So I get 25 bags for two bucks, upside down, and um, they're 12 by 18. Uh, centimeters there so not very big and um, this is the craft color and they also come in white and so I just use the craft for for now for this project so this is what they look like outside of the uh, package so they're really cute just plain and then the other ones I tried using were just your regular everyday lunch bag so these are a little bigger but the process will be the same. So I just got mine at Walmart. So we all have a pack of these hanging around, I'm sure. So, um, so what I did was, I'll just move these aside for a second and then I'll show you what I did with my own. So I cut them down a tiny bit, even the small ones. Let's see where my camera is here. And so really um, all, uh, I was watching that video and all Paper Crafter 45 did to the bags to alter them was what I'm gonna show you now. So I'm not changing anything. Um, and I will link to her channel at the bottom of the video. Um, so sh basically you just take the flap and you fold it down on itself here. And you're not gonna do anything with it. We're just looking to cut, cut this off, cut this bottom part off. So um, I'm just going to use this line right here. So I'm just going to put it in my paper trimmer and line it up the best I can. And I'm just looking to trim off that bottom part. Obviously my trimmer needs uh, a new blade. Let's try that again. Okay, so we, we just took off that bottom part right there. So that's garbage. So now pretty much what you have is a big gaping hole, right? So that's all the cutting that you're gonna need to do. And then, um, so the part that um, we just cut off there, we're going to take that same edge and we're gonna just fold it up about a half about a half an inch you can make it as big you know as big as you want but half an inch is about what I used so you just fold it like that you can use your bone folder if you'd like to uh, make a crease so then what we do is you take a pair of scissors and so that crease that you just made, you're gonna um, kind of cut, cut a little corner off, a little triangle on a diagonal just like that. And so I'm gonna flip it around and do the same on this side. And we'll just hope that they're more or less the same. You know what, I'm gonna fix this one up a little bit more. So, there we go. 
so then um, this will be the part that the part that you're gonna see once you flip it up. But when you fold it, I don't know how well you can see that. You get like some extra bits that you don't want there. So if you just open this back up, I just kind of turn this down a little. I'm gonna cut some of this other stuff off so there's no bulk. So I just kind of cut this down, this little inside flap here, just like that. And then I even trimmed this one down, just like that. So here's still our flap that we're gonna use. So once we turn it up, all that other stuff is hidden and it's gonna look nice and clean and neat. There. So then the next thing I did, plain and simple, was I just took some glue. I guess you could use some really good adhesive, but I like my white glue, which is not gonna cooperate right now. So I'm just gonna seal the whole thing up. Just like that. Put a little bit under there too. So we'll just close that up. Use your bone folder to push down. And so basically that's it. So now you have this cute little paper bag and it's nice and neat and it looks like you just kind of bought it that way. So the other thing I did was if you got a little bit of an uneven edge here, you can trim that down, but just for per the video purposes. And some people don't like this uh, little sort of groove that they give you. I kind of do. So you can do this step or not. This I'm just using a Martha Stewart circle punch, a scallop circle punch maybe. And um, I like it. So you can either do one of two things. Go ahead and do everything that you want to do to your paper bag first and then punch it out, which is basically what I did before, or you can go ahead and do it now. I don't think it really makes a big difference. I just center it and punch it. So basically that's the pep preparation for the bag. So then what I went ahead and did was, um, I'll bring these back now, is I went ahead and used, um, I first um, distressed all of my the bags with whatever color I liked. So I started off with walnut stain and I found it was a little bit dark so I just went to the vintage photo and I used that. And so I just co coated the whole bag front and back with it. A little bit on the insides too. And then easily, just plain and simple, I just went to my stash with um, my stamps and I used some Memento Tuxedo Black ink and I just found some stamps that I really liked. You know this one is from Recollections and then I used a Fiskars and then just whatever I had in my stash so a whole bunch of different things. So you go through your stash and find out what you like and I basically stamped them. I stamped them all over the bag to give it that vintage look. And this is like probably my favorite one. I just love it. So I did both sides and they turned out super cute. So that like they're just ready to go right into a journal or um, you know, if you're gonna give away uh, gifts to other crafters. So this one has butterflies, I guess little insects. Super cute. And this one is tickets. Front and back. This one is uh, coins. I think they're coins. Yeah, vintage coins. This is just like a flourish design. I really like that one too. 
And so those were all of the smaller, um, the smaller bags. And then these were the regular paper one, the paper. These ones didn't hold the ink as well, but still good. So. This one here is like old fountain pens and the tips and books. This one is really cute too. And then this one is like uh, time pieces. Really like this one. And then this one I distressed super dark. <laughs> I just wanted to see what would happen and stamped over it with the black. So it is pretty dark, but it, it came out really cute. Just the same, just the same. So that's it. I just wanted to share those with you. That's what I've been working on. I'm gonna go and make some tags now. And uh, so I hope you like this idea. It's, I mean, probably tons of people have done it already, but um, this is a first for me and I really enjoyed it. I'm gonna make a whole bunch more and have them ready for my journals. And I just wanted to also uh, say, I, I hope that everybody had a great Christmas and um, uh, tomorrow is New Year's and I hope everybody has a wonderful day and evening with family and friends and um, have a great New Year and we will talk to you guys real soon. Take care. Bye.